Hedgehog Hollow's Case in the Catalogue for our new catalogue launch. Today I want to show you how to make a version of this gorgeous little peach card here using the Fruit Stand Suite. Uh, Joy, one of our million dollar achievers, showed us how to make this at, on stage and I just love the effect it gives you. I'm just going to grab my sample here for you. So if I bring it close up to the camera you can see you get sort of this droplet effect uh, and it's lovely and shiny, so it looks like a juicy peach you'll just want to eat. So I'm going to show you how to make this one today. I'm just going to... Here we go. So that's my um, sample. So the first thing we need is my pile of supplies, which I have put here. So here's my stamps and all my cardstock. So the first thing you need, um, and I've taken just a strip of A4, so this is the standard width, um, just over eight inches, and then it's a four inch uh, wide, and I'm going to fold that in half to make my card base. And then we're going to stick on some of the DSP. Now this is three and three quarter inches square. And as ever, all the dimensions will be on the blog if you need them. And then I have a piece of watercolour paper that is three and a half inches square. And that is how we're going to be doing our peach. So the first thing I'm going to do is just stamp it out as normal. And I'm going to use Peekaboo Peach, of course, for the peach um, skin. I'm going to stamp that down. And don't worry if it's um, if you miss a bit, you, I promise you won't notice by the end. And then I'm going to use Wild Wasabi for our leaves. And again, I'm just going to stamp those down. Like so. And I'm going to grab myself some kitchen towel. I'm just going to pop a sheet of that down and I've got a spritzer with just water in it. it's got a slight green tinge just because I had inkers in it earlier and then you want to just quite liberally spritz all over and you'll notice that your peach you can see here becomes a little bit watery if I bring it up to the camera you can see the edges become a little bit blurred and then what you do is I have some clear embossing powder that I now use only for this we're just going to switch out the kitchen roll for the scrap card. And you want to pour all over the piece some clear embossing powder. So, and the water will act like a Versamark pad, it will adhere to it. And you can see that any water that's in there just comes out like a droplet, so that's fine. I'm going to tip this back in because this set is purely for these kinds of techniques where I contaminate it um, and if I need it for something else then I have a, another one. And then we're going to heat emboss just as normal. So I'm going to put it onto the number two setting and you'll find that your cardstock, if I put this more towards the middle, will crinkle up more like this so it's coming up and then it will go down before the um, embossing powder will melt and set when it goes clear. This is because of the water that you've used. It's got to dry out the water and then it sets the embossing powder. So it will take a little bit longer than your normal heat embossing. And you can see now it's starting to relax. I'm just working my way all around the peach. So you can see there, got that lovely droplety effect. If I bring it right up, hopefully you can see there. So that's all set. I'm just getting rid of my scrap card. And then the next thing I'm going to do is just stamp out my sentiment while I'm still stamping. And I'm going to use Soft Suede and the I'm Here For You 
Now they've cut it with a little um, like banner and you could do that yourself if you wanted to but I like punching out because it's much quicker so I'm going to use my new label And then they have used some of the striped baker's twine. I haven't got any in the right colour, so I'm going to use some cucumber crush to really bring out the green. And I'm going to start here. I'm going to leave a little bit for my bow. I'm going to wrap it around twice, tie it up. Okay. And then I'm going to tie up the bow. Now they attached their label into their bow, which you could do because I've used this. Uh, label punch it's not quite as big as the banner that they've made for themselves so I'm going to just stick mine down here with my snail stick mine across the corner now you could stick this flat but I found that that didn't work if I grab my sample you'll see here it kind of swims about a little bit so you either need something much stronger or what I did find when I was practicing is dimensionals work great because it allows the card the flex that it needs from having been wet. So I'm going to use four dimensionals. And I'm going to grab my card base and I'm just going to put it slightly on an angle. And there we go. So there's your little notelets. You could write straight on the Peaky Boo Peach or you could put yourself an insert in. And that is your little notelet finished. So I hope you've enjoyed our little tutorial today and I look forward to seeing you again. Happy stamping. Bye. Mm -hmm.